Alright YouTube, so today we're going to be changing the brake pads. I've not changed any brake pads on cars for um, probably four years now, but I'm guessing it's just going to be all the same. Um, went to Euro Car Parts uh, to buy them. Uh, they recommended um, this brand, Apex. Um, so yeah, they were only 20 quid, so we'll bang them on, alright, see you in a minute. All good, all good. Don't even need to... Normally on old cars you need to put a spanner here because this sometimes turns from what I remember. Anyway, this is a further new car, so should be pretty easy. Oh it is. You shouldn't need to undo all this. Maybe just loosen the back one. Make sure you don't drop that. These pads are all right. You know, 
guys at the garage told me that these pads are low. Do they look low to you? There's plenty of I mean, there's some decay there, but I mean... Let me just check, see if I've got any brake cleaner. One minute. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of... I wouldn't even say it's uneven wear, but... Why would they tell me these were low? These are like new. I'm surprised my car's only done 5,000 miles. But anyway, I was thought maybe I could clean them up. The only reason I'm changing them is because I did hear like a, a squeaking noise, which what I would think, you know, brakes need changing. I have no brake cleaner. Um, so. Anyway, we'll just fit the new pads anyway. As soon as we've got all these off, may as well put the new ones in. All right. Just wanna compare it to a new one. Not that much, is there? Not that much difference. Hey. Yeah, that one's, yeah, I can see, yeah, I know why, oh, again, that's sculpture noise, because you can see this is, um, See that on that corner? That's what would have been making that noise, and it's actually it's lightly scoured the uh, brake rotor a bit. Right. Yeah. Put new ones in then. Da, da, da. I wish I put some gloves on. <laughs> Slap that back in shape. Put that screw in. Find the holes. I, sh I struggle. I struggle finding all when lights aren't on, do you? There we go. Ah, B. Tell you what, what I might do with these wheels being off, I might um, put a layer of wax on them. Hold on.
bad either. Some just light scouring though on there, so. I mean, we get four pads in a pack, so we may as well change them. I always remember to put the brake line back in the little clip that's normally attached to the strut then it doesn't uh, you know wobble around at your wheel and stuff like that all right if you make, just make sure everything's nice and tight and that's good all right all right so that's how you change the brake pads it's pretty simple really but I would say if you're not confident in your ability don't do it um, ask one of your mates if he knows how to do it or just you know just take it to a garage um, <clears throat> I have no money so I had to do it myself this time or else I would go to the garage um, as it's due a service now because it's, you know, it's 16 plates coming up to a two, two year service I don't know how much that's going to be um, and obviously with new cars the only problem is if you want your warranty, you got to get it serviced by a VAT registered garage, which is a shame, really. Um, you know, because they need to stamp the book and you know everything like that. You need to take the invoices down to Citra. Um, it's a bit of a farce. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, the, they weren't low. I mean, as you saw, but they did need changing. So I mean, the uh, garage said, "Oh, you know, oh yeah, they're s they're really low. This is this is what we're told. It goes, yeah, they're real low. They need changing soon as they were barely fifty percent worn. As you if, you know, when I compared them to the to the brand new ones, which I thought were a bit dodgy. And my brother said the same. Said, you can't have done five thousand miles. How do you need new pads already? Race driver in it." <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, see you next one.